Let me show you how to add a chat doc, a chat overlay, and pretty much everything you need to know about displaying your kick chat. I'll be showing you how to add your chat in OBS as a little doc so you can read it, how to pop it out if you're not using OBS Studio, how to display your chat overlay over your game, multi-streaming chat, which will combine all of your Twitch, your YouTube, your kick chat. And if you're a one monitor streamer that wants to see their chat over their own game on one monitor, I'm still making that video, but I'll leave it in the top right corner when it's done. The first thing we'll start with is setting up your kick chat doc in OBS studio. So the first thing we want to do is go to the docs tab at the top and then we'll go to custom browser docs. For the first doc name we're going to call it kick chat doc and then for the URL we're just going to type in kick.com forward slash and then put in your own kick username. I'm going to be using an alternate account that I've made which is called Halloween party and then I'm going to click forward slash and then we're going to put chat room no space. So kick.com forward slash your username slash chat room. Then we're going to click apply and now it's going to have this little chat doc that you can go and just kind of drag into your OBS like so. You'll notice that you can't actually type in this chat because you're disconnected. So we need to make another doc and we'll just call this one kick.com. Then we simply just put in kick.com into the URL, click apply. It's going to pop up kick.com. We're going to click the login button and we're going to log in with our username and password and then click login. So it's going to log us in into kick so we can just X that out and then click OK and then delete this browser doc. Then we can click apply because we're done with that and then close. Now we can right click on this chat doc, click refresh fresh and now you can see that we can send our messages so I'll just click test and now you can read your kick chat doc in OBS studio like so now if you're not using OBS studio or this is not working for you for whatever reason just go to your kick page you can go to the creator dashboard you can go to click this little cog wheel which is the settings button under your chat and you'll see a pop out chat button and so you can just take this little pop out window and you can just drag it and you can just kind of put it over your streaming software whether that be Streamlabs OBS or OBS studio whatever you're using and you can use this as an alternative method method to the OBS chat doc. Now let's get into the fun stuff like displaying our chat overlay. But two quick things. The first thing is that Kick is still in beta and this tool is still in beta. So there's plenty of changes happening every single day. So please, 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 I ask you that if something is not working for you, check the comments below this video because things might change. It happens. And don't get frustrated. If you have any questions, I'll try and answer them. But please check the comments and I'll make updates in the pinned comment down below if anything changes for you. Number two is that if you want more helpful Kick videos like this, this, make sure to drop a like on the video so YouTube recommends my channel to you guys. But enough of that nonsense, let's continue. So in order to display our chat overlay, we're going to be using a free tool called Botrix, which you'll also notice is in beta, so changes will happen, guys. Please, please just be nice. But the first thing you'll notice is that it's naturally in Spanish, so we're going to switch it to English or your native language. A little bit easier to read, right? You'll notice that we don't have an option to log in with Kick yet, but that's fine. We just need to log in with one of our accounts. In this case, I'll log in with my Twitch account, and then we set up our Kick channel in inside our Twitch Botrix channel. A little confusing, but I'll explain it later. So pick whichever option you got. I'm gonna log in with my Twitch account, then I'm gonna click Authorize. And you'll notice that Google Translate also pops up too. So if you want, you can just click English, and then boom, you just got it translated to English. So we'll just X out of this. And then you'll see we're on the Profile tab in Botrix. So you can see that we've logged in with our Twitch channel, which is fine, but now we have the option to sign in with our Kick channel. So this is very important. So we're gonna click Sign in with Kick. Now we need to put in our username. So I'm just gonna log in with my alternate account, and then click accept. Now it says, please give the moderator role to Botrix because they changed their name from Botrix Live to Botrix if you've watched my previous videos. So we're just going to copy Botrix and we're going to go click continue. It's going to bring us to our moderators page on Kick. We'll click add new. We're just going to paste in Botrix. You can see it's got a nice little green check mark, which is also an update. So shout outs to them for getting that. We'll click add and then boom, we're done with this. So we'll go back to the previous tab. Now we need to link our Kick account with Botrix. So we're going to go to this link, but first we're going to copy this command and then we're going to click this link it's going to bring us to this chat now we're going to go to the send message we're going to paste in this command and then click chat and it's going to send that command and say that we have successfully linked our account with Botrix. Now the hard part is done so we're going to click the finish button. Now you can see that we have our Twitch account connected and our Kick account connected. Now this part is very important and I failed to mention in a previous video so I am sorry about that. But you'll notice that we have the check mark here next to Twitch and then we have the settings button next to Kick. That means if you're going to your alerts so if we click on alerts you'll notice that it doesn't have stuff for Kick because 
because we're not actually on our kick settings. We're on our Twitch settings. So if we need to go to our kick, then we go to settings, click that little settings button. Now we can trigger our kick settings. So if we go back to alerts, you'll notice that we got an option for kicks, which I don't know what the heck a kick is. And I don't think they do either because I don't think that exists. If I'm wrong, let me know in the comments. But this is where you can go and adjust your alerts for your kick settings. So my apologies on that. But we're talking about the chat overlay. So we're actually going to go to the widgets tab. Then we're going to click on the chat box, which is located under my webcam. Now you can see we have different options. So I don't have a Trovo. I do have a Twitch, YouTube, and kick. I haven't connected my YouTube account yet. So I'm just going to deactivate that. But I know I've connected my Twitch account and my kick account. If you're multi-streaming, then you can read both your chats. But honestly, I mean, you can just leave all of them enabled if you decide to change it. So you can just do that. So you have a couple options. You can have one that hides bot messages. So like if you have different commands that your bot triggers, you can have this enabled. If it's enabled, that means it's green. If it's black, that means it's not. You can leave the better Twitch TV emoticons on. They're just extra emotes your chatters can use. You can have it hide old messages, which I'm going to disable just so it always shows the chat messages on screen. So it doesn't look like a ghost town. You can also hide commands that start with exclamation point. So if you have a bot, like a chat bot, and people are using commands, I prefer to hide them. It's up to you, personal preference. And then if you want to show the platform icon, so it'll just show if they're coming from Twitch or Kick, it'll have the little platform icon next to their name. See, so like that one's Trovo, this one's Trovo, this one's also Trovo. They did a poor job of displaying this, but you can see the platform icon next to their names. It'll show Twitch, it'll show YouTube, it'll show Kick, whatever. So if you want to show the platform icon, you can. I personally leave that disabled. That's up to you. Then you can choose the pattern. So if you have a premium account, you can make it neon, but I don't have a premium account for this Botrix account. So we're not going to use that. But if you just want, you can have the default and you can see what all of the different patterns, aka the displays or designs are. Default is pretty cool. I also like side. Side is kind of cool too, because it looks like this. And I think this looks like the most traditional Twitch chat. So we're going to go with this. We're going to then click this copy button for the widget URL. And we're going to go to our streaming software. You can use this in OBS Studio or Streamlabs or whatever streaming software you got, because all we're going to be doing is adding a browser source. So we're gonna go to sources, add new, click on browser. We'll just call this chat overlay. Click okay. We're gonna paste in the URL we just got. Click okay. Then now you see it's blank because we don't have any messages in. So let's actually just put this in the corner. I'm gonna type in some testing messages in the chat doc we added earlier. So I'm gonna do testing, 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 testing. And now you can see that our chat is showing up for kick, but I wanna show you that the Twitch chat also works because if you're a multi-streamer, this is the great solution for you. So I'm on my alternate Twitch account here. I'm just gonna type in testing kick chat. I'm on Twitch. I'm just gonna copy and paste this several times and then we're gonna go back to OBS. And wouldn't you have it? There you go. You can see that the Twitch chat also works. So this is a really nice solution to display your chat if you're multi-streaming or just in general. But watch these other kick videos to the side of me. They're going to help out your kick stream. My name's Cody, and I hope to see you in the next one.